This is your KCTV 5 News Update. The family of Cameron Douglas says they're devastated. They say the punishment for his killer does not fit the crime. Douglas was killed outside his apartment in 2019. On Friday, a jury found Jason Cook guilty of involuntary manslaughter. That means he could serve up to six years in prison. But Douglas's family wanted a murder conviction. Now they're planning a letter writing campaign to ask a judge to overturn the ruling. They believe that the racial makeup of the jury played a role in the lighter sentencing. Tomorrow, a teacher will be in court as he faces a sexual misconduct charge. Bryant Hummel is accused of exposing himself to two female students at Kearney High School. He's currently on administrative leave. Hummel is scheduled to be in court at 1.30. Parents, you could be scheduling vaccine appointments for your kids before Thanksgiving. An FDA panel is meeting Tuesday and gives Pfizer's vaccine an emergency approval for kids ages 5 to 11. Last week, the company released data showing its shots are 90% effective for that age group. And the FDA says the benefits of kids getting the vaccine outweigh the risks of COVID. If that panel approves the shots, the CDC will meet on November 2nd and 3rd. And if they give it the thumbs up, the agency's director could approve shots for kids that same day. And that means kids could be fully vaccinated before Thanksgiving on the 25th. Hello, I'm Bill Hurlbrink with your Sunday morning weather update. The early morning showers and thunderstorms should come to an end here for the mid morning hours. Expect additional development later on today as we warm up with a pretty stout south wind, bringing some warmer air and some more moist air into our area. Storms could fire by three or four o'clock this afternoon. Some could be in the strong to severe categories as they form up along and east of I-35 and quickly move towards the central Missouri area where a bulk of the severe weather risk, the enhanced risk area lies again right here. But as these storms develop over Kansas City, we could see a, a stronger or severe storm or two, especially to the southeast area of Kansas City as we go through the afternoon hours. Again, three or four o'clock is when they could develop and then move quickly off to central Missouri. As we go through rest of the night, that wind changes to the north brings in some cooler air. Monday will be a chilly start in the 40s. Upper 30s for some will top out near 58 with mostly sunny skies on your Sunday or your Monday afternoon. Have a great day. Turn to KCTV 5 News for the latest all day. This is your personalized update because KCTV 5 News stands for you.